to a sharp knife, it's Dixie's finest long knife sharp. Right there. And my name is Alan Bentley. I'm out of Monica City, Florida. Uh, I have five of these sharpeners. I use them consistently, always. I'm a hog hunter and a deer hunter. Plus, I raise wild hogs on my property. I take them all the time. This is the best knife, that best sharpener to have with you at all times. It works. I must own 15 knife sharpeners. This is the only one that I can win. I can put my tackle box everywhere I go and put in my pocket, and I can sharpen any kind of knife. I love it. There's nothing like it. This probably is the finest life sharpener I have encountered in my 30 years doing gun shows. Therefore, I wholly recommend it because I use it myself and it's the finest one that I have found. This works absolutely great. I use it with all my knife shows to sharpen all the knives. It works great. Best sharpener out there. It is the best sharpener ever. It really works. We recommend Lux Knife Sharpener. Every time we sell a knife, always throw one of these in with our, in your purchase. And it's easy to use and it works. I don't care if you have a hundred dollar knife or a thousand dollar knife. This is the one to use. These are awesome. Dixie's Finest is the best! Dixie's Finest is the best! Hi, I'm Paul Block, and this is the Block Knife Sharpener. The Block Sharpener is the only knife sharpener that truly does do a serrated edge knife without ripping the teeth off. You simply roll it through the middle, make some pins vibrate, shatters up into the teeth, taking serrated knives, razor sharp. If you buy an expensive knife, you don't want to tear steel or change your angles. You want to reline the blade. Block sharpeners are 100% American made and lifetime guarantee. Visit me at my website, and I'll teach you how to sharpen dozens of different cutting edges. My name is Alan Bentley. I'm out of Monica City, Florida. Uh, I have five of these sharpeners. I use them consistently, always. I'm a hog hunter and a deer hunter. Plus, I raise wild hogs on my property. I take them all the time. This is the best knife, that best sharpener to have with you at all times. It works. I must own 15 knife sharpeners. This is the only one that I can win. I can put my tackle box everywhere I go and put in my pocket, and I can sharpen any kind of knife. I love it. There's nothing like it. This probably is the finest life sharpener I have encountered in my 30 years doing gun shows. Therefore, I wholly recommend it because I use it myself and it's the finest one that I have found. This works absolutely great. I use it with all of my knife shows to sharpen all the knives. It works great. Best sharpener out there. It is the best sharpener ever. It really works. We recommend Lux Knife Sharpener. Every time we sell a knife, always throw one of these in with our, in your purchase. And it's easy to use and it works. I don't care if you have a hundred dollar knife or a thousand dollar knife. This is the one to use. These are awesome. Dixie's Finest is the best! Hi, this is Paul Block, and I'm here to show you today how to sharpen up a few different pocket knives. Uh, there's a few techniques to use in a block knife sharpener. For a smooth blade, the main thing is you want to spring it in there tight and roll it back. And what this does, it relines the blade. It squeezes it and pushes it up, taking it back to its original cutting edge. They take off very little to no steel which will make your knife last a lot longer. You don't favor either pin. You pull them right straight down the middle. You got harder case knives. I found you ride them a little bit hard, higher. Press straight down. Keep the pressure going down while you're pulling back. As you get sharp, lighten up on it. Now you'll have serrated knives, chisel knives, one-sided blades. When you get a one-sided blade, you want to hold the flat side to the pen, let the other side of the sharpener pick up on the blade. Hold it flat and bring her in sideways. Swoop it. 
And what it does, it pushes that blade back up, gets it back to its original edge. Now for the serrated part, put something down on the counter, stand it up, and roll it in the middle. This is making them pins vibrate. Chatter up in between the teeth will not hurt them a bit. I took three different style serrades here to show you. It does not hurt the teeth a bit. Okay, today we're going to show you how to do the scissors. On a pair of scissors, you got your cutting edge. It's usually on a slight angle. Sometimes they're flat, sometimes they're on an angle. Whichever it is, you hold the pin flat, go against the grain of my pin, and come across. That scrapes it off, flattening it down a little bit each time. Then you're going to turn your scissors slowly, and you'll find a burr right on the inside edge from striking it down. Hold the side of that pin again to it and push it off. The object is to square the inside corner and that's what will get your scissors good and sharp. It's also known for doing scissors, garden poles, a lot of different things. It's a hard pin. I done showed you that. It's round, it's flexible, it'll grab any angle you got. Use it on the side of your scissors, follow the blade. You strike them 10, 15 times, that flattens it out. Turn them on their side, you get a burr on this side. Hold that flat, sweep that corner, and you'll get them sharp as any knife too.